Hey guys, I'm Tuan. Welcome back to my channel. So, I know it's been a little while since I made a video, but Battlefield 5 has been out for just over a month now. It's given me some time to play around with the different things in the game, and I have to tell you, one of the things I'm really loving are the vehicles in this game. And so, I'm starting off with a clip here in the medium tank for the Allies, and these tanks are just absolutely phenomenal. And so, they're a little bit different from how the Battlefield 1 vehicles were, where I felt like you were... You're either up close and personal or way far removed back. Some people would do that where they sit back in like an AA gun and just snipe on people. But these clips I've got for you here, I'm either, I'm usually, I try to go mid-range. And so with the mid-range, it lets you use both the main gun, the main uh, anti-tank gun or anti-vehicle gun. And you can also use the medium machine gun that's mounted on it for some really great shots on people. And so as you can see here, you can totally dominate points just by being available for your team and being just like just out of range of any anti-tank weapons that infantry can use on you. And so even even as you see there, you can really reach out and get people super far away. But I feel it is important to not be super far removed from the battle because it's it's kind of cheesy in that manner because you know if no one can touch you, it kind of takes the fun out of the game. But if you're at mid-range, you know, people can still come and get you and you can make some interesting plays trying to evade them. But, you know, you're not in immediate danger, which I think is it's more realistic and I think it's a lot more fun to play that way. Because one of the things I really love about Battlefield is the realism. And so I already know that someone's going to be watching this and be like, well, you're super far removed right now. Well, that's not quite the case. I'm medium range here and then... Once you clear out the objective, you can either move in yourself or your teammates can rush in and take the objective. The point is to not be one of those tanks that sits back in the spawn where literally no one can get you. And so the point is to be up, you know, in the battle, somewhere where people can engage you, where you can make a difference for your team, and that's what I like to do. And so, to move on to another subject, I mentioned earlier that, you know, I haven't made very many videos. I think it's been nearly eight months. Uh, since I've made one and that's because you know I got back I went back to IU and you know I really put myself into school and it was worth it because I had a good semester but you know my video making capabilities were you know lacking but moving forward here I want to get back into this and I've actually been presented with a really unique opportunity I'm gonna be studying abroad this upcoming spring semester in Nice France and so the opportunity it's going to give me is that I'll be able to make some videos while I'm abroad, not only of video games, because I'm, I'm not going to stop gaming, obviously, I'm a gamer at heart, but it's going to give me some really cool opportunities to be in Europe at some very historic places, and I can get some really great footage of these cities. And so on my personal YouTube, not my gaming one, obviously, on my personal one, I want to post some videos of my exploits while I'm abroad. And so I'll be doing that um, in, in a variety of ways. I've got um, an action camera, I've got a drone, you know, I've got a camcorder, I've got my phone and stuff. But I mainly just want to communicate to you guys that I want to get, you know, really get back into making videos. And so this is just the first of many. I got some more great footage from this past month of Battlefield ready to go for you guys. So with that said, I'm Tuan. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope to share a lot more with you guys.